you know what I mean? So is it filming? Alright. So what we're going to do today is, we got this guy who called us yesterday who had striping on his car already. He's got this gold leaf, which we can't really do anything about it. Apparently it was, it's a vinyl that was stuck on there. But he wants us to, to clean it up and everything. And what I'm doing is, I'm going to take off the pinstripe. Because I want to do my own pinstripe. I want to save what's good. And I want to take off and do what's mine. So, what we're going to do is a really old school method. Where you use uh, Easy Off Oven Cleaner. So, it's really important that you test it in a spot that you're not going to see first. I would let it sit on there for at least five minutes, around five minutes, and then test it. Like, pull it off and see if it messes up the paint. You don't want to ever mess up somebody's paint job. It's going to cost you way more than it, it would cost you just to go over it. But in this instance, it worked because it's a stock paint job. And now we're going to show you how to do it. So, this is what it looked like before. And let's go over to the other side. So on this side, I've already actually applied some on there, so it's for a while while I talk to you already. And I'm using a Q-tip and the Easy Off in a cup. You don't want to spray it right on here because it's very dangerous to the paint job. So now I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to rub the Q-tip with the Easy Off, and look how it just comes right off, right? And you, you know, you might have to work at it a little bit. There's some times where stripers are like thicker and thinner, and you'll you'll see that relatively easily. Uh, but you just sit here and rub it in, keep rubbing it and you'll end up pulling it off. So you see, you can see in the schmutz there that the paint's actually coming off, right? And now you never want to let it dry. You always want to let it let it be wet, keep it wet. We're actually working in the sun because it'd be better to video it, but I would do this inside if you can. Not in your living room though. All right, so now what, I'm just gonna get a rag and I'm gonna pull that off and then I'm gonna show you. Basically, you see the design is exactly the same. And I want to show you where we've actually, so I'm pushing with a pretty decent amount of pressure, right? Because I want to make sure that it's off. And now you can see that it's much schmutzy. And I just use prep saw. So I take the prep saw and I'm going to rub it like crazy. Just to make sure that any of that residual stuff is gone. You do not want this stuff drying on here. This, in this instance, if you let it dry on here, you get this yellow tinge. So. You see that I don't see any yellow tinge, which means I got it all off. But you see how it's coming off. Comes off, it's a little bit of work, but it's a, it's a better job like that. If I was to sit here and try to retouch up all these lines, they're gonna get thick and ugly looking. So I'd rather spend some time sh fixing this. And these lines can be thick because I'm not gonna mess with this stuff, dude. It's like stick on vinyl. And you can see how the sun just demolished it. But this we can, we can fix and create our own design and make it look great. If we come up here, we see we already did it. This is that ugly vinyl. This is what sun does to it. So while it seems like it's good and easy, this is what happens. And then this had a whole design that came all down here, but we took it all the way off already. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this video on how to remove pinstripe, and we'll, I'm gonna come back and make another video showing you how to cover this up with something that looks way better than this, and then we'll, we'll keep going. All right, see ya.